In this video, I'd like to talk about free radicals and aging. Free radicals are compounds that force other compounds to either accept or give up a proton or an electron. We've learned to harness free radical reactions in industry to make things like plastics, glue, and bleach. But the same reactions happen inside of our own bodies. Skin can become brittle, like plastic. Arteries can fill with plaque, like glue and hair can turn gray or white, like bleach. So, let's learn a little bit more about free radicals and what we can do to age more gracefully. There are three main free radicals we have to deal with. Superoxide, hydrogen peroxide, and hydroxyl radicals. Let's talk about superoxides first. Superoxides are oxygen molecules with an extra electron, and they're formed in one of four ways. Toxic metals can form them, our own immune system can generate them, ultraviolet light can make them, and a misfiring cell as we age can make them. So, for the first cause, toxic metals, you might want to consider something like chelation. Our white blood cells will make superoxide in response to an infection, but if the infection is chronic, then we have a continual source of a superoxide radical. So you might want to do something to deal with chronic infections. As far as ultraviolet light goes, wear a hat. Finally, we have aging cells. All of our cells use oxygen. But as we get older, cells can misfire and create superoxide radicals by mistake. When we're young, this happens very rarely. But as we age, it can happen up to 2% of the time. A muscle cell has to recycle up to 10 million ATP molecules per second. But if 2% of those cycles generate superoxide radicals, then it's going to be generating 200,000 superoxide radicals per second. Multiply that by the 40 trillion cells in your body, and that's 800 quadrillion superoxide radicals per second. That's an eight with 18 zeros after it. So what do superoxide radicals do in the body? Well, they can knock hydrogen atoms off collagen strings. And the place where they do, that collagen becomes sticky. So when they knock the hydrogen atoms off the collagen in our skin, and those sticky parts stick together, you've got wrinkles. They also destroy nitric oxide, which is responsible not only for circulation, but specifically in men, for erections. Finally, superoxide radicals create peroxynitrite, which is highly carcinogenic. So superoxide is one thing we're going to have to learn to deal with. The body has a way of dealing with superoxide radicals. It creates the antioxidant superoxide dismutase. Just one superoxide dismutase molecule can neutralize two billion superoxide radicals per second. But there's two issues. One is, as we get older, we don't make as much. The second is, superoxide dismutase doesn't just get rid of superoxide radicals. It alternates between getting rid of a superoxide radical and making it harmless and getting rid of a superoxide molecule and turning it into another free radical called hydrogen peroxide. Back and forth it does this. So the next thing we're going to have to learn how to deal with is hydrogen peroxide. Just like superoxide radicals, hydrogen peroxide is also made by our white blood cells to help fight infections. So again, we want to bring down the infectious load. Also, hydrogen peroxide is used inside the peroxisomes to break down toxic chemicals. So detox becomes important here. Hydrogen peroxide bleaches the hair from the inside out. Scientists have now discovered that it's a deficiency of the enzyme catalase that may be causing hair to turn white or gray. Catalase is the enzyme the body makes to get rid of hydrogen peroxide. In fact, one molecule of catalase can neutralize four million molecules of hydrogen peroxide every second. That leaves us with one free radical left to deal with, the hydroxyl radical, the most powerful of the three. 
Hydroxyl radicals are formed when superoxide radicals, hydrogen peroxide, and metals meet together. There are two ways that I know of to neutralize hydroxyl radicals. One is you can bubble hydrogen through a glass of water and drink the water. But hydrogen is odorless, colorless, and highly explosive. So probably not something you want to do at home. The way the body naturally handles hydroxyl radicals is by producing the antioxidant melatonin. Melatonin not only quenches the hydroxyl radical, but scientists now believe can undo the damage that it's caused. So, what do we need to do in order to age gracefully? We need to deal with superoxide radicals, hydrogen peroxide radicals, and hydroxyl radicals.